Hello and welcome to the Harry Balzac Show. I'm Harry, and today our guest is here to find out who the baby daddy is. I have with me here Miss Eden Cox, who wants to prove her man Gene that he is the only father of their one month old baby boy, Howie. Backstage, we have the only man that Eden claims to have ever slept with, Gene Poole. So Eden, welcome to the show. Thank you, Harry. So tell us about you and Gene. Well, Gene and I have been together for about two years now. And last year I got pregnant with our son, and all of a sudden he thinks I'm cheating on him. And of course you haven't, right? <gasps> Never, Harry. He's been my boo since high school. Now, why doesn't Gene think that he's not the father? Are you ready for this? He thinks my boy has too much facial hair. Now apparently there is more to the story than just proving that Gene is the father. Oh yeah, that's right Harry. See lately we've been fighting a lot. He's been going off, off to the clubs and coming home really late smelling like cigarettes and perfume. Does he tell you that he's going to the club? No, of course not. He tells me he's going to spend time with his mama. He goes to the church to do some late night praying. He says he's praying in the middle of the night. And of course, you do not believe the story's right? Well, I did, Harry. You see, I come from a small town, and we just don't fib like the people that they in the big city. Well, I'm sensing a but to this story. Oh, there's a but, all right. A very large but. You see, I was cleaning out the car the other day, and I found these. I asked Gene about them. He said they were his mama's drawers, but he didn't know how they got there. But why would mama's drawers be in the back seat of our car? They're certainly not mine. Does it look like I wear a size 16? Well, let's talk about the real reason why you're here today. Gene does not believe he is the father of your three-month-old baby boy. That's right, Harry. Gene says that he thinks I'm just trying to hold him down, trying to get somebody to pay for me and my boy. He says it just can't be his son because there's too much facial hair. But I keep telling him, maybe he just went through puberty a little early. I mean, look at those eyes. They look just like him. And that nose, can't deny that. And look at that forehead. I mean, there's no denying it. It's his, and I know it. Well, we have Gene backstage now, and Let's welcome him out. Here's Gene, everyone. So, Gene, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. We've had a chance to speak with Eden, and uh, she's wanted to share the mystery of the ap appearing panties in your car. What do you have to say about that before we get the results of your lie detector test that you took before the show? Harry. This girl's crazy. You crazy. I haven't slept with nobody else but you. And you try to pin this all on me as a baby daddy? But what about the large panties that Eden found in the back seat of your car? What? Those are not mine. They can't be. They can't. See, what had happened was I went to church. And when I went to church, I let, I let Rob borrow the car. Rob likes big women. You I know that. I told you not to let him borrow the car. Do you really expect us to believe that you are at church in the middle of the night praying? Listen, Harry, see, where I'm from, you wouldn't understand. My mama, you don't go to church, you don't come in the house. You know what I mean? I pray. I take care of you. You better things. pray that we get the results of this lie detector test. Let's talk about the baby Howie. Why don't you think you are the father? Look at him. Look at, look, look, at, look at his face. You see that hair right there? Look, right there, if you can't see that. Look right there, that is, that, your I hair. don't have that. Your hair. Look at his nose. That's your nose. Look at his it's nose, his nose. nose is crooked. That's not my nose. It's just as crooked That's as yours. That's not my baby, It's just man. as crooked That's as yours. That's not my baby. It's your baby. Come on, Gene. You gonna tell me that you don't think you're not the father because some, some out of place facial hair? That baby don't look like me. He looks like you. No, we don't. Looks just like he you. Had, I have nothing to do All right, you know, that that's your baby, but that's okay because we're about to find out soon enough. Well, let's find out. Well, let's see the DNA test. 
I have the lot of, I have the lot of tests right Bring here. Bring it out. Bring it out. Gene, is there anything that you want to tell Eden before I read the results? Man, I ain't got nothing to say to her anything? right now, man. I ain't got nothing to say mm. to her. Mm. All righty. Dang. Now, Gene, you were asked if you ever had to ever had sex with any other women in the backseat of a car, and the lie detector term no, detector test nah. determined that yes, more than five. That's times a lie. Over no! the course of the last that, month. That's oh, a lie. You that, little bastard. That's not me. It was not me. <gasps> we asked if you were going to church late at night to pray, and that the lie detector test determined. That it was a lie, and the, you were a fact I going to the pubs oh and having sex with other women. I knew it. I swear I to. It. I swear. Mm -mm. I do. I don't. Mm -mm. I don't even mm -mm. go to Whatever. clubs. Whatever. Whatever. Mm -mm. I don't even do the clubs. Test is lying. Baby, I don't even do clubs. Uh, I'm not your baby. That's your baby. Let's find out about the DNA DNA results. Gene, if you're the father, are you going to s step up and be a good dad? Harry, baby, Eden, I'll do whatever it takes to raise my son up until he's a man. I promise you that, baby. I promise you. In the case of one month old Howie Jean, you are the father. I told you you were the father! I told you! Now what do you have to say? Now what do you have to say? I'll do whatever I can, baby. I'll do whatever I can. Everything. Everything, I promise. Don't, Dang. Well, hopefully, Harry, you'll be a good dad to, to baby Howie. Yeah my son. Well, that about wraps up another Who's Your Daddy show, and I'm Harry Balzac. The next time on Amer in America, if you think about cheating on your wife, then think again, and uh, good night, America.